Have you ever collaborated inside Google Drive and felt like it was just chaos? Hello and welcome to the Premier Off Spot. My name is Cassie Hayes and today I'm going to show you three tips to successful collaboration using Google Drive. Now if you stick around, I'm going to have two quick bonus steps for you as well. Whenever you are collaborating with someone, perhaps they're your client and you're doing work for them, or you are the business owner and you are delegating work to a contractor, it's really important that you have a good system in place for this collaboration and for communication and for approvals so that you can move all of the work forward properly and in a timely manner. So let's jump in. This folder is a folder that my intern has shared with me. She's working on building out my Pinterest account. Now, because she shared this folder with me, you probably know that if someone shares a folder with you and you click on shared with me, you can have so many folders and files in there and there's not really a good way to organize them. So the very first step, anytime a folder is shared with you that you know you're going to need to access again is to use the add a shortcut feature so that you can save it exactly where you need to and where you can find it easily inside your very own Google Drive. So here's how you do that. You just click on this arrow here, add shortcut to drive, and then I'm gonna navigate to the folder where I want it saved. What do you know? I actually do want it in my marketing folder. So I'm just gonna click add, and now I'm going to have a shortcut to this folder inside my drive in my marketing folder. So let's navigate there and just make sure that it landed in the proper place. There it is. Here's my marketing folder and here's the Pinterest folder. So now I can navigate away from this and back in without having to dig through my shared with me section, which again is probably a mess. Let's take a look just for fun, shall we? Let's look and see at all the things that are in here. Oh, look, it actually, oh, yep, it's a little bit crazy. And it's really only organized by date. So that can be pretty hectic if you're trying to find something quickly. Let's go back to the Pinterest folder. Let's look at number two. So step number two to being able to successfully collaborate inside Google Drive is to use the approvals feature. Approvals is really cool. You just click on the um, document that you need approval on. So let's open this one for example and then you'll see this approvals button here. Now, this usually needs to come from the person who is doing the work. So my Pinterest intern can use this to say, hey, can you approve this document? So she could send it to me. I'm gonna send it to her just for fun. And then she can add a due date that she needs this approved by. She can add a message. She can allow me to edit it. Now, remember, this is for a graphic design, but you can also use this for Google Docs, Google Sheets, anything that is inside a Google Drive. And then we're going to send the request. We'll just pretend we're going to leave it for now. But that's as simple as it is. And then that client will get an email asking them for approval. And anytime they come in here, the approval will show up directly on that document as well. All right, step number three for successful collaboration in Google Drive is to use the comment feature to chat back and forth. So let's look at the board covers and let's look at this one. You can see that I already put a comment on here. Now this is really cool because you can actually highlight specific things that you want to comment on. So for example, let's open up this one. I really love these. I'm just gonna highlight this though. And I'm going to add a comment and say, so now that's gonna live directly on this document. And when she comes in to look at it, she can see what questions I have or what edits I wanna make. But what's nice about this is just like inside Canva, you can actually highlight and comment directly on here so that you can go back and forth. Now, again, anything that I put in here, she can respond directly to in the comments. If you haven't used Google Drive, Google Docs comments before, I love them because Google will send you an email and you can actually reply directly in the email and then delete that email from your inbox and the comments still remain attached to the file inside your Google Drive. So it's very fast to just go through your email. It's like my favorite way to respond and it lives in the Google Drive on the document so that nothing is lost. Okay, are you ready for your two bonus features? The first one is you can add your own files or folders to a folder that was shared with you. So for example, in this case, I have a folder full of HoneyBook assets, and that is what my intern's going to be working on this first 
um, go round of Pinterest. So I just dropped this folder here of HoneyBook assets and now she is going to have access to all of those as well. Are you ready for your very last bonus tip? This one is for anyone who's ever wondered who was the last person to edit that document. I do not remember. There are different views inside Google folders and one of them, the list view actually shows you who last modified the document and even gives you the date and time. So let's take a look. See that each folder has the owner and then who last modified the document. These other ones were by my intern. So you could see that she owns those documents and that she was the last one to modify them. And it even tells me what time. So what was really fun is when I popped into this folder, I saw that she had, I saw this um, actual image had been added and I thought, oh my gosh, when did that pop in there? And it actually showed me that she just popped it in like one minute earlier. So it was really helpful just to know where we're at in the process and how recent something is so that you make sure you're working off the most um, recent updated copy of the file. If this was helpful, feel free to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss additional tips on how to run your business, collaborate, delegate, and manage your people, processes, and projects with success so that you can focus on revenue growth and new initiatives. 